It's time now for better money. Everyone is talking about inflation these days, but what impact will it have on you? Joel Johnson is a certified financial planner and managing partner at Johnson Brunetti Retirement and Investment Specialist. And here to talk more about it, certainly the big topic in the news. Huge topic in the news. It keeps getting worse and worse as far as the last year's numbers compared to this year's numbers. So it's going to be a big problem, and it hurts people with less money a lot more than it does with people with a lot more money. So we want to understand its impact. So number one, you want people to know that inflation is an overall increase in prices or the cost of living. That's correct. Just from a simple standpoint, whatever I could buy last year for a dollar, it's going to cost me a dollar ten, a dollar eight to buy it today. And it depends on what goods we're buying. Typically in retirement, we're buying spending money on health care, travel, food. Those things are up a lot more than the eight or ten percent we're hearing about. Okay, and the consumer price index is used to measure the inflation. That's correct. So this is a government measure that comes out every month, and it compares what it costs for me to buy something today to the same month a year before. So they're going to compare June of this year to June of last year. That's the measurement that most people are looking at. So high inflation certainly hurts the economy, but you say deflation is a risk too. Yeah, deflation is a risk. Deflation is not good. It seems like, oh, deflation would be good. But if you think about it, the, governor, the government is a huge borrower of money. And one of the things that inflation allows the government to do is 30 years from now when they have to pay back that borrowing, dollars are worth less. So it doesn't cost them as much to pay back that borrowing. If we have deflation, it means those future dollars are worth more. So it hurts the economy because the government borrowing money and operating in our deficits hurt even more in the future if we have deflation. So it's really bad to have deflation. Okay. We'd like it right in the sweet spot. Right in the sweet spot. <laughs> the government wants 2% inflation per year, and that's what we want for a strong economy. And right now we're hearing 7, 8, yeah, right? Really Something high. like that. Yeah. Okay. Retirees need to plan for inflation. Yes, because longevity risk is another part of this. If a retiree is going to live for 30 years in retirement, they need to maybe triple their income in retirement. That's inflation. So we've got to build that into a financial plan for a retiree so that they don't run out of money because of inflation. And inflation can diminish the retiree's buying power. That's correct. So again, like I said, you know, 10 years from now, if you're retired, now you're on a fixed income, you've got your paycheck, that's gone away. You need to probably double your income in 15 years and maybe triple your income if you're going to live to be 30. So this has got to be part of a financial plan, Kara. It's really important. You get raises every single year to keep up with the cost of living. All right. So you have an offer to help people understand, and it's inflation and retirement. Are you prepared for rising costs? So it's a free offer. People can get it from BetterMoneyTV.com. Just go there, and you'll send it off for free. Yeah, we love getting these offers to every one of our viewers and answering every question. But you want to make sure you get this offer. It's got great information in it. All right. Thanks so much. Joel. Thanks, Kara. That's better money.